हॅलो एव्हरीवन आय एम समीर नाईक वर्किंग ॲज अन ॲसो ॲसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन जी वी एम्स डॉक्टर दादाविद्या कॉलेज ऑफ एज्युकेशन फार्मागुडी पोंडा गोवा टुडे लेट अस सी वन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ बी एड प्रोग्राम द पेपर टायटल ऑफ अवर प्रोग्राम इज लर्निंग रिसोर्सेस अँड वी शॅल सी वॉट आर द वेरियस थिंग दॅट वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी इन दिस पेपर now in this unit 1 that is educational communication we will be seeing uh, the concept of communication that is what are the various thing that comes under this uh, topic there uh, that we uh, will be discussing about the cycle of communication various elements of communication and then uh, types of communication all these things will be seeing in this uh, topic that is communication concept of communication then uh, the significance of communication in teaching learning this particular uh, topic is very important for us as a teacher like uh, communication if we cannot communicate properly then it is of no use like as a teacher we need to have a very good communication skills so that is what we are going to discuss in this sub topic then we have got something called abstractness or concreteness provided by different learning experiences uh there are uh, several, several learning experiences as a teacher we use many teaching materials teaching learning materials and uh, there we have got difference of uh, or types of uh, these learning uh, experiences learning materials and uh, as we know there are some uh, instructional materials we are very which are very concrete which are very important and which gives a very kind of uh, real kind of experiences to the students and some uh, uh, kind of teaching uh, experiences or learning resources uh, or uh, teaching aids are not that effective so we'll be discussing about this type also which are the most concrete learning experiences and which are the uh, abstract learning experiences then in the last uh, place in this slide we see classroom communication and analysis of its uh, facilitative and innovative nature like what are the various trends or what are the various uh, what i should say like barriers to communication what are the different types of barriers that we come across during the process of communication so as a classroom teacher as a teacher what are the thing that we need to take care of so all these things will be discussing in this sub topic in unit 2 that is something called multi sensory learning media for classroom teaching uh, under this uh, unit we'll be discussing about the meaning of this multi sensory learning media then characteristics and then selection guidelines for use and merits and limitations of learning media so then when we are uh, thinking of using this uh, different kinds of learning uh, materials various media there uh, we need to take care of uh, in that uh, topic we are going to discuss about the characteristics of all these uh, learning media and their merits that limitations and uh, the guideline that are to be uh, followed while using this learning media and basically we have got three uh, types of uh, learning media uh, basic uh, classification of this learning media is that audio visual uh, audio audio visual and visual media so we have got these three basic categories of all learning materials so we will be discussing about uh, each of these in detail in this uh, unit number 2 then we have got uh, unit 3 resources for promoting self learning and learning to learn skills so in this unit we will be discussing about the concept of learning to learn skills that is self learning so uh, what are the various things what are the various ways through which we can learn and uh, basic thing about this is that how to learn what are the things which will help us so methods to promote self learning under this we will be seeing computer aided instruction using ready to use learning packages there we have got several uh, self learning packages there are something called mini courses uh, and there are so many other programs which helps us to help have a kind of self learning and in the last part we will be seeing merits and limitations of self learning so what are the different uh, limitations what are the different strengths or merits of these self learning materials okay so that we shall be uh, learning in this uh, topic uh in the fourth unit we have got designing self learning materials and here uh we can design uh, the uh, develop learning materials uh through different uh, procedures there are several steps there are several uh, 
uh, ways to develop and in this particular uh, project in this, this particular unit we are going to use ADDIE model because there are several other models which we can make use of. So with the help of this ADDIE model we will be uh, designing the self learning materials and under that we are going to discuss about the concept, characteristics and importance of designing self learning materials. Then we have got self uh, uh, steps in designing a self learning materials, create a video material using FOSS that is free and open source software. Fifth unit we have got technology enhanced learning, uh, educational media and technology standards that is SIT, IST, ECT all these are the uh, standard uh, agencies which helps us to uh, ensure the quality in uh, technology stand, uh, standards. E-learning concept approaches that is blended approach and on online approach, merits and limitations. Then you have got something called internet as a information resource, concepts, characteristics and guidelines to use offline and online resources in teaching and an introduction to free and open source software that is FOSS and types of these different types of uh, FOSS that are available that is free and open source softwares. And in the last unit that is unit 6, emerging technologies to facilitate learning this is the title of the unit. In this unit, we are going to discuss about the meaning, characteristics, merits and limitations of the following technologies that is inter interactive or smart boards, cellular phones, language lab, social media and so on. So there are various types of uh, emerging technologies we can see these days. So we will be seeing uh, the different types, uh, meaning and characteristics uh, and merits and demerits of all these media. And at the end part, role of the teacher in an ICT enable environment that is Though these are the uh, several technologies that have come uh, in the field ri right now, but still what is the role in this technology enabled environment, what is the role of a teacher in this ICT enabled environment that we will be discussing in the last part. Okay students, so that is all about this, uh, thank you very much.